Millions of student athletes struggle with mental illness. This is a stigma that not many athletes want to talk about. Playing their sport makes their life less stressful. However, this is not the case for some athletes when it comes to playing in school. Students are pressured to stay consistent in their sport while balancing school and their personal life. Hi, I'm Allie Potter and I play water polo and swim. My name is Nick Montgomery and I play baseball here at Cypress. Hi, my name is Camilla and I play soccer. Um, I love being able to go out and be every day and play with, uh, play with kids I grew up playing with and just, um, just go out and have fun. Um, I think for water polo especially, like, it's just like the friendships that you make, like this team, like, they're honestly more of my best friends than my teammates, um, and you kind of get, like, to let everything out when you get in the pool for practice or games, so it's a really good way to express myself. I love everything about my sport, the adrenaline before games, the getting to socialize and meet new people, um, just everything. I mean, I've had you know trial and error between you know finding a schedule that works best for myself, but um, through time and I feel like it's fairly easy to manage your time. Yeah, so I've been playing for four years since well for here since freshman year, but club even before that. It's kind of hard sometimes to balance it, especially because I do two sports and then outside of that I do club on top. So it gets stressful sometimes since I have a lot to juggle. Um, but I really try to like manage well with like doing my schoolwork as a priority and then kind of also doing this in the ASB. It's definitely difficult sometimes because I have like 20 minutes to go to practice within. But with high school soccer, sometimes ending late, I would have to go home, change, and then go directly to club soccer and come back home around 10 p.m. So, yeah. Sometimes my sport is especially stressful since for my position, I'm like one of the only ones that plays my position. So it's hard because I don't always have like a sub that I can um, have go in for me. and. If I do need a sub sometimes, it's somebody who doesn't play my position. So I feel kind of sometimes like if I need a break or if I miss a practice or have to miss a game that I'm letting my teammates down. So that can be kind of stressful sometimes. But I try to kind of like let it go myself. But yeah, definitely sometimes. Um, stress, no. Uh, pressure, yes. Uh, typically before games, I mean like the pressure is on to win, but it's mostly adrenaline, hype, and excitement, and the joy. But the pressure, I would say, definitely goes in like mentally, like to attain yourself to certain expectations of yourself. So. Yeah, those are sure times where you have the the fear of underperforming. But um, I think just remembering, you know, why you started playing the game, and you know, the same feeling you had when you were a little kid. support system would mostly be like my friends and family. There's definitely some teachers here that I can like kind of confide in and my coaches for sure but um, I think overall yeah but most of the connections are like people that I've kind of connections that I've made myself not necessarily like the school outwardly coming you know. Yeah I do. Um, I don't really use the support from the school though. Uh, I like to just manage things on my own. Yeah, I mean, I think for sure it's, you know, people think that, you know, student athletes are supposed to, like, you know, be mentally strong and stuff. So, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm, a, you know, opposed to speaking about it, but there's for sure, you know, hesitance when, you know, want to speak out about it. I know that I can always ask for help. I just typically don't. I think for me personally, a lot of that kind of stems from, like, myself because I really like to be independent, so I struggle sometimes to ask for help. But I definitely think that, like, being an athlete and, like, being, like, an extrovert and an ASB and stuff like that, like, sometimes you're kind of expected, or at least you feel like you're expected to be kind of, like, perfect and, like, to not struggle sometimes. But it, it can be really difficult to feel like that all the time. So there's definitely been times that I probably should have asked for help from other people, but instead tried to handle it myself and that probably wasn't the best option but I definitely feel like there's kind of like an expectation to be able to do things yourself when that's not always the case. 
A challenge I faced was high school soccer. It wasn't the easiest for me. Um, it wasn't a good environment for me. Um, I know like I just the coaches weren't it wasn't the best so that was definitely challenging coming every day and just like it's three months that you have to do it so it's like it was difficult throughout those three months and I was just like push through it and just try my best and knew that it would eventually like be over but definitely it was hard especially because I would always get injured during high school and not in club so that that was like really hard for me because like not being able to play soccer for like two months or like a month or three months and just like it was difficult and it got to the point where my ankle became chronic and I would have to wrap it before every game. Sophomore year I had to deal with a coach that kind of put me down and didn't make me feel good all the time so um, like dealing with that was difficult but I've learned like so much from that because I kind of had to realize that like my support and like stuff like that like it's not the things that like happen to you or like the people that make you feel down or whatever it's like mostly about how you react to it. Um, some moments from you know my sport that's made me happy is you know winning tournaments with the team and just kind of seeing all the hard work and practice every day pay off. You know we start practicing two weeks into school and then we don't get to play until February so just uh, realizing all that hard work does pay off and in time pretty much win a game you know it's a good sense of um, you know that hard work does pay off. Every day of practice is like pretty happy for me sometimes I all have like we all do we all have those days where it's like you don't want to go to practice or like you're really not feeling up for a game because it is exhausting but like the second I get in the pool and like even if it's a hard swim set or whatever it is like I'm with like the people that I love the most in the pool and like I have coaches that support me. What made me really happy was last summer we played a tournament and it was a championship game and my teammate is going for the cross and I see her going in and I'm like running in and she crosses it and I just like calculated and headed in and like we won the whole championship. That was definitely like super cool. Uh, always be where your feet are, meaning don't look too far ahead, just kind of, you know, be in the moment and um, keep working hard when no one's watching. I would tell them to just try your best in everything you do, especially like in your sport. Like if you don't like your sport, then like don't do it because if you don't have the passion, then there's no point. I would just say that breaks are okay and if you're struggling then like everyone struggles you know so it's okay to take a break like regardless of how you feel about it sometimes it's better to just take a step back and like really focus on it. Mental health of student athletes is a problem that is growing rapidly. As new athletes begin sports in high school they should learn how to prioritize their mental health. Finding a healthy balance between school and sports will be beneficial for any athlete. The mental health of student athletes must be addressed and taken into account. End the stigma.